Hello everyone, I'm Said Mandegar. In this tutorial you will learn how to create advanced concrete shader. By the end of this video you will be able to create this or any kind of concrete you want. Now let's dive in! For those who are new in my channel, I am so excited to be your host for a couple of minutes and hope to be a piece of help for you. And for those who are along with me for a while, you know how much I love you guys. You inspire me to move on. So please watch the whole video and let me know your idea about it. Also sometimes I share posts to clarify your exact need. I hope you respond to it too. Anyway, first I give this shader a name. Any shader must have a unique name. Now I start with the diffuse map. I load a composite map to blend more than one texture together. Let's load a main diffuse texture and a coat one to blend them. Reduce the number of blur amount down to 0.1 to make the texture as sharp as we expect. Then I take it to color correction map to adjust its gamma. Now I assign the diffuse map to reflection and choose the instance mode to save the RAM space. I reduce the glossiness amount cause such materials have no reflection on their surface. Let's assign it to glossiness map too. I'll make a balance between the amount and the map later in the maps tab. As it's saying, it affects on the render elements, and as you know, it helps us a lot in post-production. For those who don't know about post-production, please check the cards I put up in here, or click on the link below this video in the description tab to learn how to improve your final render in Photoshop. As I said, I reduced the map's amount to make a balance between the texture and the reflection's number parameters. Now I add a bump map to make it more realistic. As I mentioned in previous videos, don't go too far with the map's amount, keep it less than 10 or 12.
Now I assign the shader to my selected models and press a render to show you the results. But before that, let's correct the map scale by assigning a UVW map to our selected model. Now let's see the result. One of the most important rule in making material is to know the material itself. Also correct the scaling will help the shader looks as the eyes always see in our environment. Well, as you see, the render looks amazing, so real. Because I determined and controlled the amounts, especially in the reflections, and the result became what you see. The next tutorial is about how to create realistic brick material, a very advanced shader for your project. I'm sure it will help you a lot in texturing and making the kind of masonry materials. Please like this video if it was helpful and subscribe to my channel if you didn't already and click on that bell to be notified about the next video. See you soon. Have fun.